Uh, welcome to Center of Math, problem of the week for this week's problem, where we're given f of x, which is a function defined on the non-negative real, so every zero and greater than zero. And, it's in, and it takes the non-negative reals and sends them to the non-negative reals. And we're also given that it satisfies f of f of x equals x to the fourth, and f of x is less than or equal to cx squared for some real number c. Clearly, c has to be positive. So first note, uh, the image of x to the fourth, uh, x equals zero, that's for x equals 0, that's 0. And the image is actually all the non-negative reals. So that tells us the image of f is, is, in fact, all the non-negative reals. So f is, in fact, surjective. So. So first, a couple things to note. Uh, taking f of f of x equals x to the force instead of x, you know, place x, uh, f of x there, we get f of f of f of x equals f of x to the fourth. Uh, using this and uh, the inequality here, so for x, plug in f of f of y. So three f's of y is less than or equal to c times f of f of y to the eighth. So plugging in f of y for, or f of f of y for x here, we get, so f of f of y is just y uh, to the fourth. So on the right side comes less than or equal to c times y to the eighth. On the left side, f of f of three f's of y, we show that's just f of y to the fourth. So we have f of y to the fourth is less than or equal to c times y to the eighth. Taking the fourth roots, uh, we have f of y is less than or equal to c to the one fourth y squared. So this is interesting because if our inequality is satisfied for c, it's also satisfied for c to the one-fourth. Uh, now, uh, if we modify this inequality a little bit, bring the c over, we have x to the fourth is greater than or equal to f squared of x over c squared. Uh, and yeah, we also have f of f of x equals equal x to the fourth is greater than or equal to that. So this implies, you know, turning f of x is x, because again, f of x is surjective. We have f of x is greater than or equal to x squared over c squared. So we have the bounds x squared over c squared is less than or equal to f of x, which is less than or equal to cx squared. Uh, note here, since x squared over c squared must be less than or equal to cx squared, we have 1 is less than or equal to c cubed, so c must be greater than or equal to 1. And also note, since if our bound is satisfied for c, it's satisfied for c to the one-fourth, and uh, for any constant c, if we keep taking the fourth powers, these bounds become arbitrarily tight. Uh, and so we have f of x must, in fact, equal x squared for each x. And so we're left with our answer, which is f of x must equal uh, x squared. Thanks for watching. Uh, please check out centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.